Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I sublimate a metal license plate, car coasters, and a matching keychain. So let's get started. I will drop the links below in the description of where I got my blanks and my supplies. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be using this license plate, a set of car coasters, an MDF keychain, a tape dispenser with a heat tape, and my transfers, I made my designs in Canva, and if you want to purchase them, I will put them in my Etsy shop and put that link below as well. So I'm gonna start with my license plate, and what I like to do to line my transfers up is I like to put my transfer down on the table and then flip my license plate over. You wanna make sure there's nothing, no lint or anything on that. And flip the license plate over face down and line it up. I will put the dimensions that I printed my transfers for each blank in the description as well. If you do not have one of these tape dispensers, you're missing out. It cuts the tape for you as you turn the wheel. If you can see that, it makes it super easy, quick, and you can get a lot done a lot faster. And it will hold two rows of tape back here and a piece of regular tape there. And I think that I have that taped up pretty well. I just have it lined up. You can, you wanna make sure and be mindful of your design that you're not cutting your design off with these screw holes here. And so I'm gonna set this aside and next I'm going to do my MDF um, keychain blank. And these have a plastic coating on them, a film that you're supposed to peel off and it's really hard to come off when it's cold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this under my heat press. I'm not gonna press it. I'm just gonna put it under there where the heat from my heat press will warm this up and it's gonna make this a lot easier to peel. So let me set this over there. While that's warming up, I'm going to line my um, coasters up here. And I think, I don't remember if I printed I have to go back and look because I think I printed the coasters and the keychain the same. I did. Okay, so same thing that I did with the license plate. I'm going to lay my transfers out here and I'm going to, I like for mine to be my notch to be on the side. So I'm just going to line my coasters up here. Make sure that I have the design all the way around and I don't think they're the same because that's too small. I printed these a couple days ago. There we go, yeah. And forgot to mark on the back of them which one was which. But this one fits and I'm gonna get it added on there. And you really wanna tape your coasters down good because if they're the thick neoprenes like this one, if they're really good quality, they like to come untaped sometimes because of the thickness. And then I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna do the same thing. Make sure you wanna be able to see that you have a design all the way around. And when I list these designs for you in my Etsy shop, you will have the round coaster design, not the square. I was in a hurry when I was printing these off before I had to go get my kid off the bus. And so it is what it is. And that piece of, or that roll of tape just ran out. So let me get some of my yellow tape here. I hate using the yellow tape. I'm always scared it's gonna bleed through. I prefer to use the clear tape and I will drop that in the description below as well. If you are new to my channel, I'm glad to have you here. And if you would please hit the like and subscribe button. Let me know in the comments if you have pressed these before or if this is new to you. And let me know if you learned anything. All right, so now I'm gonna Get this tape down. The My Heat Press is heating up at 400 degrees. You want a hard pressure for all of these blanks and um, for 60 seconds. Okay, now that I have the coasters and the license plate all taped up, let's grab that keychain. Okay, so now you can watch and see how much you in my Etsy shop, you will have the round coaster design, not the square. I was in a hurry when I was printing these off 
before I had to go get my kid off the bus. And so it is what it is. And that piece of, or that roll of tape just ran out. So let me get some of my yellow tape here. I hate using the yellow tape. I'm always scared it's gonna bleed through. I prefer to use the clear tape and I will drop that in the description below as well. If you are new to my channel, I'm glad to have you here. And if you would please hit the like and subscribe button. Let me know in the comments if you have pressed these before or if this is new to you. And let me know if you learned anything. All right, so now I'm gonna get this tape down. The My Heat Press is heating up at 400 degrees. You want a hard pressure for all of these blanks and um, for 60 seconds. Okay, now that I have the coasters and the license plate all taped up, let's grab that keychain. Okay, so now you can watch and see how much easier it's going to be to peel off. Do not forget to peel this off of your blanks. You will ruin your blank if you don't. And now I have this and I'm gonna flip it over, make sure my hole is at the top and line it up. I'm gonna try to center it as best I can since that circle is in the middle there. And same thing with this one, whenever you go to the Etsy shop to purchase this design, it will be the correct round format for the keychain and the coasters. This is just what I had done in Canva and I haven't had a chance like I said, I was in a hurry and I haven't had a chance to form it to my template yet. And here we go. Of course, you can do round templates and square templates, whatever, in Canva. I just wasn't paying attention when I did it. But there we go. We have all of that. And so I'm going to flip you guys around and let's see how we do the heat press part. Okay, anytime I do sublimation on blanks, I make sure that I put a piece of butcher paper or a barrier down to protect my heat press from any bleed lines bleeding through. And so I'm going to put my license plate inside the heat press. I've already checked my pressure to make sure that it's nice and hard. And then I'm going to lay my, my blank in the heat press and I have my blank down face up with my transfer on top. And then I'm going to lay another piece of butcher paper over the top. Make sure that if you're using parchment paper or butcher paper or copy paper, it is wax free. I do not use Teflon because Teflon can actually trap moisture inside between your transfer and the heat press. And so that's why I don't use a Teflon sheet with sublimation. But again, we're doing hard pressure 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Okay, it's been in there for 60 seconds and be very careful. The blanks can be very, very hot. I have a pair of heat gloves somewhere and I just can't find them at the moment. So I just grabbed an old t-shirt and I'm just gonna peel my transfer off here. And there we have a sublimated license plate. And you can tell lesson learned. Um, there was something on my transfer, like a piece of paper extra piece of paper and so it transferred it blocked my design from transferring to that license plate so I'll have to redo that one and now we're going to do the coasters the reason we're doing everything at a different time instead of all at once is because they do have different different thickness and so it's going to take a different set different pressure setting on the heat press and so same thing as the license plate you have your blank down face up Set your blank down with the face facing the right way with your transfer on top. And then we're gonna do the same thing with butcher paper. We're gonna put it over the top here and we're gonna press it 400 degrees for 60 seconds, hard pressure. Okay, those have pressed for 60 seconds and now we're going to do the same thing as we do with the license plate. We're just gonna remove those transfers. Coasters can smell funky whenever you're pressing them but it's totally worth it because they're so easy and they turn out so cute. And now we're going to move on to the MDF keychain. Same thing, we have um, the keychain. We're going to lay it down face up, transfer on top, face down. 
And we're gonna use another piece of butcher paper over the top of that. 400 degrees, 60 seconds, hard pressure. Okay, and just like the other, we're going to pull that transfer off. This blank is going to be hot as well. And so we're just gonna pull that off there. And there's the keychain, and we'll pull you. I'll pull you guys over here so we can assemble the keychain and show you all of the finished products. Okay, if you purchase your MDF blank keychain from the same place as the link in the description, it will come with the hardware you need, but it will not come with this tassel that I'm going to be using. I got this tassel in a bundle off of Amazon. I'll see if I can find that link for you and drop it below as well. So I'm going to start by putting my tassel on my key ring. Sometimes, depending on the size of tassel you get, you may need a jump ring to do this. These fit on here pretty well, and so I opt out of the jump ring. And then this is super easy. You can see these two little lines here. You're just gonna bend it on those lines, and then you wanna stick your keychain through here, and then your key ring here. And do that again this way so you guys can see. I just take the little male end and I stick it through the top. And then I drop my keychain inside of that and just let it loop over. And then I, sorry, bump the camera. Press it closed. And you can do this with your fingers. Okay, hear that snap. And there you have it, keychain. And then I'll show you all of the pieces together. Here's the final product.